Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan in this very exciting video of Algebra Equation Challenge. Today we will be solving x power 7 plus 7 power 7 equal to x plus 7 whole power 7. While solving this problem, I will use Pascal triangle, algebraic manipulation, identities. We will conclude our result. So let's get started by considering Pascal triangle. So let me write Pascal triangle. So Pascal triangle is very very useful here because we are required actually x plus 7 whole power 7. So this is x plus something power 1. Degree is 1. For degree 2 add both the terms 1. Degree 3 1 3 3 1. Degree 4 1 4 6 4 1. Degree 5 1 5 10 10, 5, 1. Degree 6, 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. And degree 7, which is required here, I will write 1, 7, 21, 35, 35, 21, 7, 1. So these are our required coefficients. Now, once I will expand this, this expansion I am going to write. We can use binomial expansion also, but I am using Pascal triangle method. So coefficients are ready. Now we have to consider only two things. First power, first variable or literal power will be in the descending order and second power will be in the ascending order. So let us write the equation first. So x power 7 plus 7 power 7 would be equal to the coefficient this one x power 7 times 7 power 0 plus 7 times x power 6 7 power 1 plus 21 times x power 5 7 power 2 plus 35 times x power 4 7 power 3 plus 35 times x power 3, 7 power 4 plus 21 times x power 2, 7 power 5 plus 7 times x power 1, 7 power 6 and last term would be 1 times x power 0. So no need to write or you can write you want x power 0 and 7 power 7. Now you can see our x power 7 will be cancelled out with first term. 7 power 7 will be cancelled out with last term. So now what is left after cancellation we will have this equation. Now you can see 7 is square x is common. If I will take 7 is square times x then I can take this power will reduce. So let us write once I will take common out 7 square x, then what would be left inside the bracket? That would be x power 5 plus 7 times 3 times x power 4 plus 7 square times 5 x cube plus 7 cube times 5 x square plus 7 power 4 times 3 x plus 7 power 5 equal to 0. Alright. Now what I am going to do, see this is now quintic equation, degree is 5. So as if we will see our equation, the hexic given equation, then you will see x equal to 0 is looking means obvious solution it is. Similarly x equal to minus 7 is obvious solution. I have taken, see it is already coming out x so x equal to 0 is obvious solution. x equal to minus 7 is also solution. So I will use that as a one root and I will apply synthetic division. So I will write like this x equal to minus 7 as we can check also from the given equation just by plugging the value of x equal to minus 7. You can see it will satisfy the equation. So I am taking that solution as a synthetic division method one root the base root. So let me write the remaining coefficients. If you will write it, 
then it will come out 1, 21, 245. If you can calculate 7 square times 5, so that would be 245. Next value 7 cube 5, so that value will come out 1715. Similarly, 7203. Similarly, 16807. Leading coefficient as it is. Minus 7 times 1, minus 7, 14. 14 times minus 7, minus 98, 147. 147 times minus 7, I will have negative 1029. 686. Now we will multiply with minus 7, I will get minus 4802. It will give us 201. And once I will take the product of 2401 with negative 7, I will have minus 16807. So this is zero. Ultimately, our factorization, see x in second bracket, x plus 7 in third bracket will be having all those coefficients for quartic x power 4 plus 14 x cube plus 147 x square plus 686 x plus 2401 this equation will come out equal to 0. Now our target is only to find out roots of this quartic equation degree 4 equation. How I will find out? See if I will write this equation in, in form of its coefficient product. See this equation I am only targeting. Let us write that. So I will write x power 4 and 14 I will write factor of two numbers. 2 times 7 x cube. It was there earlier. But for solving this synthetic division, I take the product. So now it is plus 3 times 7 square x square plus 2 times 7 cube x plus 7 power 4 equal to 0. Now I am going to divide by this term. This complete equation I will divide by this term. So what we'll have? We'll have let me divide this by, I will write x square over 3 times 7 square plus 2 times x over 3 times 7. Okay. So after division, we are having this equation x square over 3 times 7 square up to like this. Now what I am going to consider the first term and last term, if you will see, I can take 1 over 3 common, second term and second last term. I can take 2 over 3 common. So let's take, it will form one very interesting equation. See, I can write this equation as 1 over 3. In bracket, we'll be having x square over 7 square plus 7 square over x square. Correct? From second and third term, second and second last term. So we'll have 2 over 3 common. I will write x over 7 plus 7 over x. And the middle term by which we divided actually, that is 1, equal to 0. Now I am going to write only one substitution and it will solve the complete problem x over 7 equal to t. Let me write. Once I will write this, then equation will form 1 over 3 in bracket t square plus 1 over t square plus 2 over 3 in bracket t plus 1 over t plus 1 equal to 0. Okay. Now I will put t plus 1 over t equal to suppose u. So let me write here t plus u. Then what value will be if I will take a square? So t square plus 1 over t square plus 2 times, so I am writing equal to u square minus 2. So this equation will convert 1 over 3 u square minus 2 plus 2 over 3 u plus 1 equal to 0. Multiply this equation by 3 u square minus 2 plus 2u plus 3 equal to 0. So u square plus 2u plus 1 equal to 0. 
that means u plus 1 whole square equal to 0. So, solution will be u equal to plus minus, no, it will be minus 1. Minus 1, minus 1. Okay, repetitive root. So, u value is negative 1 only. So, what I will do now in place of u, t plus 1 over t equal to u. So, we have to put that value. Let's put t plus 1 over t equal to negative 1. t plus 1 over t equal to negative 1. Multiply both sides by t. So, t square plus 1 equal to minus t. So, t square plus t plus 1 equal to 0. Remember what is t? x over 7 is our substitution which we substituted earlier. So, t will be equal to minus b. So, minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus 4ac. So, negative 4 over 2a. So, this value will come out. Negative 1 plus minus this will be negative 3 over 2. So, I will write negative 1 plus minus i root over 2. Now, t was x over 7. So, I will write x over 7 equal to negative 1 plus minus i root 3 over 2. So, x will be equal to, I will write negative 1 plus minus i root 3 7 times over 2. Okay. So, this is u equal to minus 1 solution. So, similarly, we will have same solution one more time. So, four roots are complex roots and two roots are real roots. Real roots are 0 and what was that value? Minus 7. Okay. So, there are two real roots. Let me write here. Two real solutions and four are imaginary or complex. Okay. Let's verify the real solution value. Verification. I will verify x equal to 0 and x equal to negative 7. So, x equal to 0. So, 0 power 7 plus 7 power 7 equal to 0 plus 7 power 7. So, this will become 7 power 7 is equal to 7 power 7. True. Second value, negative 7. Negative 7 power 7 plus 7 power 7 equal to negative 7 plus 7 whole power 7. So, this, this value will be negative 7 power 7 plus 7 power 7 equal to 0 power 7. So, this value will be 0 equal to 0. This will get cancelled out. So, that is also true solution. So, there are total 6 solutions. 4 are imaginary as we calculated and 2 are real. x equal to 0 and x equal to 7. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video.